Shelf Beef Pet Tales. Hello everyone, you're watching Top Shelf Beef Pet Tales. I'm Kelly Robinson. On today's show, we visit a horse farm at the same time as the farrier, Shane Sampson, who actually makes the horseshoes from scratch. And he says there's a variety of reasons a horse might need shoes. Every horse is a little different, and where they live, the ground is a little different. So some will wear some foot away and be too short, and we'll have to put shoes on. Other ones are confirmation, we can demand shoes. We might need to put shoes on for they want more traction or less traction. But not all the horses that Shane works with need shoes. Probably over half of what I do, we just trim their feet. That's just to keep them balanced and comfortable like a dog's nails get too long. For the half that do require shoes, Shane prefers to make them himself as opposed to the store-bought ones. You can buy some not good shoes, but you can buy really good quality store-boughts now. Uh, I enjoy making shoes and it just, like you said, we can customize them, we can put the nail hole angle and then you can measure, you can have it to the exact fit that you want because the shoe sizes that you buy come in, you know, half inch increments or you can, lots of times you may want a little bit more thicker on one heel where if you do that, make your own, it's not hard to, with some practice and some skill like the girls who are going to school. Stephanie Thomas is Shane's apprentice who just completed a two year farrier program. I just love working around horses and everything and it's the way that I can work with horses and I don't like desk jobs or anything like that, so it's definitely got the physical work and everything. I top dress the hoop just to get all the flares off and everything, and then after, once the shoes are on, then I clinch it, so you push the nail into the hoop wall, you bend it down and push into the hoop wall, so that helps the shoes stay on. My dad was a farrier, so I grew up watching it, but I also went to farrier school, so I think I wouldn't take an apprentice that hasn't gone and at least started with a farrier program. You learn something new every day, at least one thing. Horseshoes are changed every six to eight weeks, and Stephanie assures us it doesn't hurt them. Their hoop wall is just like our fingernails, so it, no, it doesn't hurt them at all. They're big enough, if it hurt them, they'd let us know. This miniature horse puppy is also getting his nails done today, and yes, he does have shoes, but they're not the kind made by Shane. Well, every farrier I have met has said if I try to make shoes that small, they won't deal with me. They're just too small. When puppy goes into buildings, he goes to visit the seniors, he'll go to visit the schools. So what I had to do was find shoes, actual shoes for him. And they sell shoes for teddy bears. Well, wouldn't you know it, those same shoes actually fit puppy. So now he's got more shoes than I do. 